aiming to target areas where socialist policies can thrive and lead America down the rabbit hole towards totalitarianism. The New York Post reported, This Orwellian-style stockpile of statistics includes a vast and permanent network of discrimination databases, which Obama already is using to make disparate impact cases against banks that don't make enough prime loans to minorities, schools that suspend too many blacks, cities that don't offer enough Section 8 and other low-income housing for minorities, and employers who turn down African Americans for jobs due to criminal backgrounds. Big Brother Brock wants the databases operational before he leaves office, and much of the data in them will be posted online so that civil rights attorneys and urban activist groups will be able to exploit them to show patterns of racial disparities and segregation even if no other evidence of discrimination exists appreciate it congress your protection of our bill of rights is a laughing stock we are spied on taxed to death lied to and now the commandeer in chief has spearheaded an orwellian database to divide us all based on race in the name of racial and economic justice. Why are some countries different culturally than others? Why do some countries not have resources, but are more successful than countries that do have resources? And it goes to the cultural experiences of that people, of that nation. And now we're being absolutely subdivided and destroyed. And it doesn't matter if globalist forces are conquering your country, as long as you can racially divide and conquer the public. Well, I suppose if you really want to divide and conquer a nation, Technology can be a powerful tool, but it's pointless to utilize it in this great capitalistic melting pot we call America. You see, Obama, if you really understood our nation and its people, you would be well aware that ideas and opinions aren't as skin deep as you would hope and change. It's not free speech, man. No one's stopping you from free speech. But you can't solicit out here. What basically what, you what are, are you you're soliciting? Trying to you're soliciting your opinions. Is it a commodity? Okay. Like in any way? Like a is speech a commodity? Well, well, any uh, pamphlets and stuff like that. So that's exactly what it would be. What we what's the permit for that we need exactly? Yeah. Why don't you go talk to Student Life? Okay. But you can't do it out here. Otherwise, I went to lock you up. John Bound for Infowars.com. Paul, guess what? What? We bugged Mr. Blake's cell and we heard him talking to his lawyer. You see, we took the mic wait, wait, and we wait, hit wait, it up wait, in the wait, cell wait, window. Wait a minute. What, what are you talking about? We bugged Mr. Blake's cell. You what? We bugged the cell with Arnold's tape recorder. Just listen to this, Paul. I, I can't listen to that. But, Paul... Opie, I can't listen to that. I'm not permitted. But, Paul, you don't understand. Opie, I can't listen to this. Now, I told you about eavesdropping. But, Paul, this is different. Yes, it's worse. You overheard a conversation that was supposed to be private. Now, I can't be a party to that. But, Paul, if you just listen to this... Opie... I can't listen. Paul, you're erasing the tape. That's what I mean to do. You bugged a conversation between a lawyer and his client. Now that's violating one of the most sacred rights of privacy. I might as well just... I might as well just... Are you ready to show your disapproval for Hillary Clinton? Get your Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirt today at the InfoWars store. Hurry up because these things are selling out faster than Hillary Clinton. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Oh. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A few years ago, the Pentagon issued a report containing research dealing with controlling domestic populations here in the United States. And they weren't worried about communists. They weren't worried about radical Islamists. They weren't worried about conservatives or liberals or even peace activists. They were concerned about what they called empowered individuals who were taking action peacefully in the society to change the status quo. What is the status quo? The status quo is a rapid consolidation of wealth by the elite through crony capitalism and the public being domesticated via systems of socialism. The status quo is the breakdown of the family. The status quo is the end of our borders. The status quo is our government funding radical jihadist all over the Middle East and Africa and Central Asia to destabilize Christian areas uh, and to kill other minority groups. Now, it was about a year ago that a FBI source, an FBI individual, contacted me to let me know that everything I was doing was being monitored and surveilled. And it was a very credible individual. And then today, I got contacted by an extremely credible individual. Many people out there would know their name. That the Obama administration has had enough of InfoWars and is worried about the fact that we are empowering people, that we are empowered individuals, and that we are bringing people together. And that they've got the entire operation lined up and ready to pull a search and seizure, news cameras, whole nine yards raid on InfoWars. Now, the whole point of that is like the cases with the Amish where they sell their neighbor cheese and then the feds SWAT team and put their head on the ground and they've got helicopters. It's to create the perception that you must really be a bad guy. But people see through that now. But it doesn't matter. 
They believe we have the full faith and credit of the U.S. federal government so we can do whatever we want. We can commit any crime we want. We can get away with it. We can have Planned Parenthood openly sell baby parts, and we can see babies fighting scalpels with their hands alive out of the womb, and it's okay. Nobody's going to get in trouble. And that's what this comes down to. I feel empowered. I feel strong. And I feel absolutely committed to telling the truth and exposing what's happening. But reportedly, they have a FBI task force, one directly under the head of the FBI in D.C., the major white-collar crime task force that goes after La Cosa Nostra, you name it. They don't go after the Federal Reserve that actually runs the drugs or launders the money. No, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, of course not, or Wells Fargo. And they've got them in there, whole rooms of men and women just pouring over everything and their fake informants and all the rest of it to try to manufacture something. And that's the word. They're very confident that they can raid this facility and make something up. So go ahead. You've already committed to who you are. You've already committed to what you stand for. I know what I stand for. I know what I've done. I mean, I'm nothing compared to the forebearers of this nation, but my ancestors were there and were involved in it all. And they were greater men than I. And so I'm here facing a bunch of discredited, evil people who have a bunch of cowards amongst their midst who are compartmentalized who are going along with this. And so what I face is nothing compared to my ancestors. So I have no fear. I only hope that I can try to measure at least partially up to what they did. Now, it was also said when I called a couple of my lawyers that are pretty high-powered and smart, they said, you know, this could be a way to further try to discredit you. You know, they write those articles where you said Jade Helm would be martial law, and it wasn't. Uh, but, of course, you didn't say that. And uh, where the end of the world was coming in September, you didn't say that, but they say you said that. I'd be careful on this because it takes a lot to have an administration come after the press and... This is really a bold move if they do this. But they had to concede. We've seen a record reign of terror on mainline reporters, uh, on whistleblowers. Uh, and so this is really part of the climate we're going into. I hope this is just people jerking my chain. I hope this is just folks uh, trying to get a reaction. Because regardless of whether this is real or not, real people in the FBI continue to contact me to say this is coming, this is being done, be ready. Be ready. I have outside accounting firms that do all the accounting. I can't even balance my own checkbook. I'm not a math guy. I have two outside firms, one that does it, one that audits it. Everything's transparent. Uh, there's, uh, In fact, that's the other thing. You sit back and you think, what is it they're going to cook up? One of my lawyers says it'll probably be supplements, but you've got outside lawyers. You use outside top facilities that produce it for you. Uh, you're a private labeler for your formulas. Um, that's probably, oh, oh, that's the other big kicker. Uh, it's the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC. And when I heard that, I remembered the fact that I was on the phone with Mark Cuban only talked to him a couple times, and he was going to put out a film that I'd produced exposing Saudi involvement in 9-11, which is now basically admitted in the 28 pages. And he called back a few days later to the Hollywood producer and said, I can't do this now. He was going to put it on 1,100 screens and put it in stores everywhere. You know, the host of Shark Tank, owner of the Mavericks. He said, listen, I got a family. I'm not going to be involved in this. Uh, wow, this is really deep. And he came out and apologized in the news for talking about putting out loose change. A year later, New York Times comes out with an email, not just a call, with the Fed saying, we're going to indict you for insider trading because you put this film out. I know you've written the federal laws where taking a crap in your own toilet's illegal. I know that you've you know got this whole thing set up with your fake grand juries and your federal juries and all the rest of it. Don't ever think that I got into this not knowing the stakes. Don't ever think I got into this not knowing criminals run this country now. I mean, hell, you people are in baby part business. You, you keep babies alive and sell their organs. You protect the people that do that. DynCorp and Halliburton that's come out are in the child trafficking rings. You people bring the narcotics in. I mean, you don't think I don't know that? 
I just always love how you try to intimidate me and you act like I don't know. I know. I have a moral responsibility to stand up to you, and I will continue to do it. And I may be destroyed in the process. That's part of God's plan. But in the final equation, my listeners and my viewers are the empowered people, and they're the power of Infowars.com.